So what follows is the story of my father and his extended family, the Wrecking Crew. Pondells, uh, Marquettes, Routers. We'd cut the tracks and the, and the records, and then they'd form a group to be that group. People were really not focused on the long, drawn-out album recording sessions. Four songs in three hours. It's only a certain group of guys can do that. A lot of the recording came out here. That's when you had an influx of a lot of New York, New York musicians. That was in the uh, mid-60s when it started flowing out here. Then it became a flood around that time. Let me tell you this led to a surge of work for the L.A. studio musicians. Not all of them, but a small group who later became known as the Wrecking Crew. Twisting the night away Here they have a lot of fun it wasn't an organized band of musicians that set out to take over rock and roll. And I can't tell you exactly who was part of this hit-making machine. Even the musicians that were part of this scene couldn't come to an agreement. 12, 15 people. Maybe, what, 20 of us. 30, maybe? There was probably 20 musicians, or maybe a few more counting the string players, of course, that were doing all the sessions. They were a product of, like, the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And they were great musicians who came of age when rock and roll came of age. And here they are at the height of their physical powers with all of this talent. And they're in the right place, and it's the right time. And so they get to do this. 